become the uh, whatever he called it. Uh, I realised when uh, editing that I had level ups to do, so uh, let's take a look. 40 plus damage resistance that could come in handy. Uh, yeah, we'll go for that. And then, hmm, difficult choices to be honest. Find more ammunition. Automatic weapons now do 40% more damage. We'll do that. Just in packs. Alright. Let's go over here. Alright. I think we need to talk. Oh. Wrong? No, not at all. Don't crash. I've been waiting there for the right go. moment to talk to you, and I suppose this is as good a time as any. After helping me get Duncan's cure from MedTech, I figured I owe you something. And I always pay my debts. Here, I wanted you to have this. Okay then. I know a carved toy soldier is a strange reward for risking your life, but this one's special. It means a lot to me. If it's special to you, then it's a thoughtful gift. Thank you. You're welcome. Just be sure you don't lose it. My wife Lucy gave this to me right after we met. I, uh, I told her I was a soldier and she made it for me. I never could bring myself to tell her the truth. That I was just a hired killer. And the soldier story was the best thing I could come up with. I didn't want to lose her because of what I was. I'm sure you had good intentions. I had a feeling you'd get where I was coming from. It doesn't really matter anymore. She died a few years back. We made the mistake of holding up in a metro station one night. We didn't know that the place was infested with ferals. They were on her before I could even fire a shot. Ripped her apart right in front of me. There was nothing I could do. I took everything I had to escape with Duncan in my arms. Maybe it would have been better if we died there with her. You may have lost your wife, but you saved your son. That counts for something. Maybe. I don't know anymore. Damn, I miss Lucy. No matter how bad things got, she was always there with a shoulder to lean on. It gave me... Well, it, it gave me the courage I needed to press ahead. To never give up. When she died, I thought that feeling was gone forever. Then I met you. You have the world's problems in your back, and here you are helping me with mine. Lending me your shoulder like Lucy did. I just want you to know how much your friendship means to me. Oh, should I go for a romance? I was hoping what we have together could be more than friendship. I, I, I don't know. I, I mean, I never thought of it <laughs> that way. What about your wife? I know she's gone, but you still love her, don't you? That's the past. You're all that matters to me now. I... I don't know what to say. I know I was taking a chance dumping all my feelings on the table. But now that I know how you really feel about me, it was definitely worth the risk. For once in my life, everything's going right. And I have you to thank for it. I don't think anyone in the world could ask for a greater gift than that. Thank you. Cool. Kill shot perk. Alright. So this is Nuka World. Got raiders. Got robot Nuka Cola bottles. <laughs> Nuka Town, USA. NIRA. Speak to Harvey. Okay then. After we nearly, uh, Tricked us into uh, falling for his story. We have to go talk to him now. So let me get this straight. Some scabber makes it through the front, takes out the boss, and now we're on the road. You haven't seen anything that's um out of the ordinary around here, have you? Maybe something. That last one died too fast. I thought we could use it. You're asking. 
Well, there's that restaurant that they're on about. Don't like the look of that water. Nisha really only has one rule around here. Don't get caught. Right, so we've been given a bunch of different objectives here. Uh, got to speak to the uh, gauge in the overboss quarters. And we've also got to sort the Sierra Petrov Petro Petrovita it's Harvey uh, as well. So uh, we'll be doing this one first. This is the main storyline. Up we go. Place. Welcome home, boss. The digs are yours now. I hope you like the look. Colder has some peculiar tastes. But this view is something, huh? Everything you see here is under your control now that you're in charge. I sure do like the sound of that. I thought you might. Look, I'll be honest with you. This operation needs someone to step in and take the reins. Sure as hell ain't gonna be me. Leading outright ain't my style. And there's already some blaming me for supporting Coulter all this time. My talents are best put to use helping a new overboss get all this shit under control. You get me? I hear you, Gage. Good. I know I'm throwing a lot at you all at once here. Let's take a step back and talk big picture, okay? Nuka World. This was the dream. Huge. Built like a goddamn fortress. You run this, the world is yours. We had a good head start on it. Hell of a lot of work went into getting the disciples, the operators, and the pack to work together. But we got here. About a year ago, we push in through the front gate. Take over Nuka Town. Get these traitors under our thumb. And then, well, Coulter got lazy. He was content to sit on his ass. Never bothered putting in the effort to finish taking over the park. The gangs got restless and started pissing each other off. It was... is... a real mess. I can fix this. I can make this work. Yeah? Man, I sure hope so. You know, I think I heard of you. Some big shot with the Brotherhood of Steel, right? They ain't that different from a raider gang, you ask me. Just try and act all legitimate, but they still just take what they want. Look, I know these gangs. Been working with them or against them for years now. I'll help you, okay? Walk you through everything. First thing you gotta do is get the gangs behind you. Without them supporting you, you're not getting shit done. You don't have to trust them. Hell, you don't even have to like them, but you need them to respect you enough to follow you. Have any advice for how I should go about it? Yeah, all right. The disciples like violence. The bloodier, the better. Tell them they'll get plenty of it. The operators are in it mostly for the money. They get promised caps, they'll listen to you. The pack, hell, I don't know. They follow whoever they think is the strongest. Show some teeth, I guess. Right, remember that then? Don't worry. Everybody likes me. Yeah, I wouldn't count on that. <laughs> Look, technically, you're already the new overboss, right? That's like half the work done right there. Just meet the leaders. Talk with them. Flex your muscles a little. Show them you mean business. Okay, let's do this. All right. That's what I'm talking about. You just need to show them you're the right man for the job. I'll be here if you need me. You are the overboss, after all. Just 
Don't screw this up. Try not to. Alright. I'm gonna meet the bosses for each for of the three gangs. Okay then. I'm sure this will uh, go down swimmingly. Repair all of this. Ah, we don't have all of the stuff. Like I feared. Could well do. We're going back to sanctuary and repairing this, but I feel like we'll. Uh, just have to make do. I think I'll actually just leave it here and, uh, and see what I can get rid of on, on me because I know I'm carrying too much as it is. So let's just see. Yeah, I'm about 48 and above. Right, I've got any uh, weapons I don't need. Yeah, I've got bottle cap mines, don't need them. Knife, don't need that. Seventy-nine fragmentation. Oh, I can get rid of some of them for some weight, can't I? I'm gonna need seventy-nine. We'll get rid of twenty-nine of them. There we go. We're already mostly down. Don't need that. Oh, did you pick up any other uh, stuff? to keep all that on me. So by weight. Again, not very much to get rid of there, is there? pick up very much. Right. Dropped a shitload of stuff there. <laughs> right. Let's go. Fist top grill. station okay then don't I hate it when it does that it starts saving and it just lags Hello. Pretty well money. 
money, pretty little money. That's what I like to see. Alright, McCready. This is where all the workstations are. Righty ho. Elevator. Guess we're going up. Elevator music. Oh, he does love it. Worthwhile looking round. Right, where are we next? Alright, back to Nuka World. Not even fired a shot so far on on this episode. Right, who's closest? This one. Sure, we carry guns. You lot. Watch yourself, Bob. Disciples. Right. We sure will be. These are the ones that like the violence, aren't they? I think it is. Operators of the money guys. Come on, girl. You know we should run this place. Just recap. Yeah, the disciples like the violence and the blood, the pat like who are strongest and operators like Not the money. Right. Really I'm gonna promise you lots of You're violence. Him a second chance. Gage screws this up, he knows we'll skin him alive. I should have guessed by all of this. What about you, big ass? And that for Nothing instance. Say on the matter? As long as he doesn't get in my way, don't much care. Yeah, figured as much. Both of you just get out of here. And make sure the others get the message. The new OB, huh? I reckon you're here to talk to Misha. She's in charge. <laughs> hey. So, you want to talk? You're Gage's little talk to Misha. Last I checked, I'm the overboss. You survived the gauntlet. You killed Coulter. With Gage's help, of course. So sure, you're the overboss. But that title hasn't meant anything for a long time now. If Gage thinks that'll change overnight, he's dead wrong. Everyone knows we all wanted Coulter dead. Of course, if I had my way, it would have been a slow, painful process. But whatever. Let's get this meet and greet over with. I'm Nisha. I lead the Disciples. We've only got one rule around here, and that's keeping a piece of this alliance. Otherwise, the way we see it, this world stopped caring about rules the moment people started dropping bombs on one another. This world needs rules. Otherwise, we'll never recover. Rules are dangerous because people start to trust them. They make you think you're safe, but once you turn your back, you're dead. Coulter thought some sort of rule or code made him untouchable. But he found out he was wrong. The hard way. Although, I could give him a little credit. He built the gauntlet, after all. Of course, it was total shit at first. No imagination. But we spiced it up a bit. I thought it was pretty impressive. Good to see the new boss at least has some taste. I might let you keep that head on your shoulders after all. Let's just hope Gage is right about you. He made a lot of promises to get us here. And never followed through. So you better not screw this up. Because I'm not about to tolerate another round of bullshit. Are you questioning me? Your overboss? Not questioning. Just curious. We were wrong about Coulter. We won't make the same mistake twice. I'm the best there is. Willing to bet your life on that? You see, the disciples don't make empty threats. We make good on them. 
We aren't swayed by caps like those spoiled brats obsessed with their hair. Or those savage animals who can't behave in public. Fuck this up, and I will kill you. <laughs> Although, huh. I admit I have even better plans for Gage. But, if you support us and keep your promises like a good little overboss, we back you. You get to live, and everybody wins. I don't make promises, and you'll do what I say. Looks like you're already a step above Coulter. We'll see how this plays out. For now. But if you change your tune and decide to play nice, there's no shortage of work around here. So if you're looking to prove you've got what it takes, you know where to find me. Well, Gage, uh, what did say put your foot down? So uh, that's what I did with that threaten. Uh, bit. Got a pretty big place here, though. Right. Let's go back. We'll meet all the uh, overbot, uh, the uh, leaders for Damn each of these, and then we'll uh, end it there. Right, where are they? Right, who are these? Operate us. Right, and he's like money. Well, I can see what she meant about the hairstyles. Definitely know what she meant about the hairstyles. Hey. Well, I suppose we all owe you for putting down Coulter. Man was an idiot. Made us all look bad. <laughs> A clown stuck in his own little car. I guess we can take some solace in the fact that someone finally gave him what he deserved. I want to know, what did you feel as you did it? When you brought that walking pile of human garbage to his knees? Bored? Kind of like this conversation, now that you mention it. Hey, <laughs> you don't get to talk to Max that way. It's all right, William. Regardless. Gage's decree means that you're the new overboss. I suppose we can only hope you work out better than the last one. I'm Mags. This is my brother, William. Pleasure. Along with our co-conspirator, Lizzie, we run this crew. Call ourselves the Operators. You'll come to understand soon enough that we are the only gang you should be backing around here. Because we're the only ones who see this place for what it is. A temple. A testament to the only thing that matters in this world. Making money? Exactly. Caps. This place was built for the sole purpose of taking caps out of the pockets of fools. We only joined Gage and Coulter's little menagerie in order to restore it to that goal. Though by somewhat more cutthroat methods than I expect its founders intended. Instead, Coulter had us sitting on our asses for the better part of a year while he lived large in his damn mountaintop. And that means, if you're going to be in charge around here, we'd like some assurances that you intend to bring this place back to its true purpose. And that we're going to get back to robbing folks of their fucking money. My goal is to use this place to make all the money I can. Well, it's about damn time. Hmm. I look forward to seeing your claims put into action. So, you're welcome in the parlor whenever you like. Make yourself at home. And if you think you might be interested in running some jobs for us, you just come speak to me. And we'll all be anxiously awaiting getting this place back to doing what it does best. She speaks my kind of language. Making fucking money. All right. Let's go talk to the pack then. So you normally have me frisk visitors. Alright, let's go to the pack. We'd all consider putting a bull in Coulter's <laughs> Caught one of the traders <coughs> stealing food. Wanted to say no heartbeat turn. Well you look funny. Got dogs, okay then. And people in cages, and a guy with horns. 
Okay then. Tell me, would you have to wait in a long line to see me? No, I'll walk right up there. Exactly. Most can handle their own shit without bothering me about it. Do you need help finding your place here? No. No, I can handle it. There's plenty of collars in the kennels. Got a taste if you want to catch. Now that I get a closer look at you. Not sure I'm buying this new overboss thing. We're all in this together. This can be good for everyone. Yeah, yeah. Sure, boss. We're gonna be one big happy family. Name's Mason, the PAX Alpha. This here's our side of town. You might be overboss, for now. But I'm the boss of the pack, and it's gonna stay that way. Long as you don't go forgetting that, we're gonna be fine. Let's work together, Mason. Yeah, I'm not interested in ruining your gig. If that ain't a lie, then things might end up all right between us. Look, it ain't like anyone's broke up about Coulter. Just figured on his replacement being, well, different. But Gage says you're the boss now, so you're the boss. You don't want to be over, boss? If I thought the other gangs would go along, yeah, I'd run this place in a heartbeat. Might have to. If you turn out to be a turd. At least it ain't Mag's black. That freak Nisha. Besides, you can't possibly be worse than Coulter. I have big plans for this place. You'll see. Maybe you're the real deal. We thought Coulter was the real deal, too. He's laying in a pool of his own blood. Don't get me wrong. Coulter was definitely overboss. Not a man to mess with. And things were good in the beginning. Real good. But that was a year ago. Then Coulter went soft. Wanted to take stock in what we achieved. I'm listening. Sure, this place beats living in the shitholes we had out there. But it ain't the palace of caps we signed up for. Ain't none of us happy. Not even the disciples. And they're normally a chipper bunch so long as they're drenched in blood. Things were going to hell fast. But Gage put the brakes on that. Got us together and promised he'd find someone to deal with Coulter. So, what's the real story behind Gage and Coulter? Hey, I only know what I've heard. Story is that Gage talked Coulter into becoming overboss. And he got you in here, didn't he? Maybe he likes people owing him. Maybe it lets him get things done without getting dirt on his hands. After Coulter went soft, Gage got us behind closed doors and promised he'd get someone to off Coulter. And you did just that. Might have been the whole point of the gauntlet all along. You can trust me. I'll be a good leader. No offense, but you just got here. We'll see what you can do. Look, let's cut to the chase. You gonna do right by the pack. I hear you've been talking to the other gangs. Be a good dog and do what you're told. Or you'll be put down. Oh, there, boss. Not in front of my guys, all right? You got enough to worry <laughs> about without a dominant struggle inside the pack to deal with. One last thing before I let you go. There's always work to do around here, keeping the zoo in order. If you're ever able to lend a hand, drop by. Loyalty's a two-way street. Right, so that's all the bosses dealt with. And it looks like we're going to return to Gage. So I'll see you when we get there. Because I'm pretty sure it's not very close. So yeah, see you when we get there. Alright, let's talk with Gage. I'm sure he'll ask us who we think we're going to side with. Uh, I'm not sure right turn. now. Well, if you're back in one piece, that's a good sign. Everything all peachy with our friendly neighborhood psychopath. Sure hope you didn't promise them too much. I mean, going a little over the top is part of the game, but you don't want them holding it against you if you can't deliver. They'll do what they're told. That's all that matters. Oh boy, okay. Time to roll up your sleeves, boss. There's work to be done. This place is huge. Divided up into sections. Parks, whatever the hell they called them back in the day. We need to take them all back. One at a time. Every section we secure 
gives us a little more breathing room and more resources. You stake a claim, plant a little flag for one of the gangs, and that settles it. It's theirs for good. Who gets what, that'll be your call. Whoever you hand it off to will appreciate it, but the others might get a little jealous. You know how it goes. It's gonna feel good to be in charge. Yeah, sure will. Be real nice to have this place all under our control. So that's it. Nice and simple, right? Take a minute. Settle in if you want. And then let's get to it. And hey, we're in this together. So I might as well go all in. You want me watching your back? You just say the word. No thanks. I got this. Suit yourself. Change your mind. I'll be around. Oh, you're right, Gage. I've got a uh, creedy with me. So, there we go. We met all the bosses, and now we know what we're doing. We've just got to take over all this park again. And then uh, give it to uh, certain gangs, and uh, when uh, we uh, take them over. So, we've got to secure Galactic Zone, Dry Rock Gulch, Kitty Kingdom, Safari Adventure, Nuka World's Bottling Plant. So there we go. There are the sections we're going to take over. I think I'll uh, give uh, one gang one part each, and then uh, I'll give I think the disciples and maybe the operators another one each. Because I think there's five. So uh, yeah, there we go. So that was pretty uh, solid episode. Not a single fire sh uh, shot fired though, which is unusual for a Fallout 4 episode from me. But it set up the story for this DLC and I'm really looking forward to playing through some more of it. So yeah, there we go. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.